Shabbat Shalom. This coming Shabbat, we read the Torah portion of Toldot. But first, I want to talk about a little bit of an element in our prayer. At the beginning of the Amidah, the Shemona Esrei, that central portion of every Jewish prayer service, there was a line we say, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, right? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We, in our Sidur, in our community, at times add the Imahot, the matriarchs, to this passage in the Amidah. But I've always thought, if we're going to be really honest, and we just want to sort of chart the three of our four parents who really got us beginning, we would probably have to say at the beginning of the Amidah, Elohei Avraham, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Yaakov. If you look at the text, it's Rebecca, not Isaac who really continues the lineage of the Jewish people, who ensures that the Jewish people will come to fruition and that God's blessing for Abraham, for Isaac, for Jacob, and for generations would actually become a reality. Here's what I mean. While Rebecca is pregnant, like many pregnant women, she's not feeling well. But it seems like her pregnancy is completely tortured. So much so that she even questions the purpose of living, and it says that she goes to inquire of God. Now, our commentators want to play this down, that she went to pray. But if you look at the text, God responds to her, so it seems that Rebecca is literally talking directly to God, and God responds to her as there's two nations that are in your womb, but the young one will rule the older one. It's almost as though God puts the onus of the continuity of the Jewish people, of the continuity of their lineage, not in Isaac's hands, but in Rebecca's hands. Rebecca is the one who has to, and we know at the end of the Torah portion, who ultimately does ensure that it's Jacob that will receive that blessing and continue the Jewish people. I'm not suggesting that we again drastically change the liturgy, but I think we see in this week's Torah portion just how strong of a figure and a character Rebecca is. And I can tell you as the husband of and the father of two strong Jewish women, it's particularly important to me that we have these positive, strong Jewish female role models in our text and that we highlight them when we see them because we see that in our people, throughout its history, that kind of equality has been a reality and it's something that we should maintain even today. Shabbat Shalom.